Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another Fright Night Friday Blu-ray update. Got another one for the Hammer Collection this time. What are we up to? Ten? Ten Hammer Horror updates? This has been a long, long road, but this time we fill in some pretty important gaps in the collection, so I'm pretty excited about this, uh, this batch. So let's not waste any time. Hammer Horror uh, 10 <laughs> today on the Multimedia Chronicles. <laughs> This first one took me a while to get because uh, it's a Mill Creek release, but for whatever reason, this particular Mill Creek release doesn't appear to have any official Canadian distribution, so I had a little bit of trouble getting it. When it first came out, uh, normally I would just pre-order these types of things and uh, just get them as soon as they come out, but no pre-order link appeared for this one, and then the release date came and went. Still nothing, no official listing on Amazon CA. Um, then a third-party seller was offering it for a little more than I wanted to spend, but I was like, eh, okay, at least I'll get it. So ordered it from the third-party seller, waited and waited and waited and waited. The estimated delivery date just kept getting pushed back, and then finally it locked in on a particular date. That date came and went. I gave them another two weeks, and then I contacted them and said, hey, where the heck is my, my Blu-ray? And they didn't answer. They just gave me my money back. And it never showed up, so it said it was sent, but I guess they didn't actually send it. I have no idea what happened. Anyway, so I was quite annoyed by that. Uh, then uh, I decided to just go to Amazon.com, but in the interim, the set had gone down in price on Amazon.com to about half of what it originally retailed for. And I did the math, and even factoring in the exchange rate and import fees and shipping, it still worked out to be less than I would have paid for it going through this third-party seller. I should also mention around the same time that I was trying to get it from this third-party seller, Deep Discount DVD offered this set for about 20 bucks. It normally retails for about 80 just to put that in perspective, until it got discounted on Amazon.com. So everybody and their dog was telling me about this sale on Deep Discount DVD. It's like, dude, this set is going so cheap right now, you got to get it. So... I was like, oh, I already ordered it, so I, I can't. So a bunch of people tried to order it, but then Deep Discount canceled all their orders because apparently it was a pricing error, which they chose not to honor. And that was that. Sometimes with those pricing errors, they will honor them. Other times they won't. It's just kind of strange. This was one of the cases where they didn't. Anyway, what is it? <laughs> it is... The Hammer Films 20 Film Ultimate Collection from Mill Creek. Now, I should also mention, I did finally get it, obviously, uh, from Amazon.com, but a problem a lot of people were having was there's a booklet that's supposed to be included. This booklet here, a little 12-page booklet that gives you uh, some info about the films in the set. And a lot of people were getting the set without the booklet. So you could order, uh, you could download a PDF off the website and look at the booklet that way, but no, 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 no. We want to have the actual booklet in the set and, you know, flip through it and stuff and have the nice little booklet smell. Yeah. So there was a link where if you sent proof of purchase, you could have them mail you the booklet. So I got, you know, after all the hell I went through to get the set, it didn't even come with the freaking booklet. So anyway, I filled out the form at the link and I ordered the booklet and obviously eventually got my hands on it. So, after many trials and tribulations, finally got the Hammer 20 film set. Let's take a short look at it here and I'll just give you a, a, a quick closer look at the contents of it. Okay, so, very glad to finally have this in the collection. So you can see some very nice artwork here in red. And then this 
spine there. And then the list of all the movies on the back. Very, very cool. So, essentially, this is just a nice little slip box. You know, sturdy enough. And on the back, we have all kinds of information. So this specifically is films that uh, Hammer released in the U.S. Uh, in collaboration. Well, I guess in the U.S. and the U.K., but in collaboration with Columbia Pictures. So, look at that. We dare you to watch. Yeah. Really nice uh, artwork on here. So we open it up. You can see we've got, uh, for the most part, two films. No paper sleeves or anything. Oh, <laughs> as soon as I say that, there's one with three films. So we got some uh, three films on there. But all the rest are two films. And they're kind of, kind of thematically linked most of the time. And there we go. And we have uh, have the films listed again underneath. Seems kind of redundant to me, but, uh, but yeah. And then if we take a look, just uh, show you there too. So there you go. And if we take a look at the booklet, I'll uh, try to remember to include the link to this. Uh, if you didn't get the booklet, uh, you can only order it if you're in Canada or the U.S. Because, of course, Mill Creek is a, a U.S.-based company. But if we look inside, very, very nice. Yes, I mean, of course, you want this booklet. It's very nice. Hey, the old Dark House. That's the comedy version that Hammer did. That's not the old 30s one. It's uh, similar but different. But this is quite a quite a nice booklet, as you can see here. And there we go. Uh, Sword of Sherwood Forest and Pirates of Blood River actually got Twilight Time releases a few years ago. So there you go. And there's also a bunch of bonus features. So yeah, Mill Creek is really stepping up their game lately. I gotta say. You got featurettes, a bunch of commentaries. This is a really nice set. Really, really nice set. And I'm very happy to have it at long last. It was, you know, a bit of a pain to get, but well worth it. And a very welcome addition to the Hammer Collection. And there you go. So quite a nice set. Um, I've already watched a few of the films on this and I'm really enjoying it. But one of the reasons it's significant is because uh, it, it contains a lot of films that have never been available on DVD or, uh, or sorry, on Blu-ray here before. There, it does also include the films that were in the double feature collections, which you may recall I did a closer look at a while ago, or did it, I guess I did an update video about it. Yeah, so it does include all eight of these films but it also includes an additional 12 films that are not in any individual releases. So overall, a pretty good bargain. Um, at the time when I got it, it was going for about 46 bucks on Amazon.com, which was ridiculously affordable. I mean, that's what, a little over $2 a movie? Come on. So even if a couple of them turn out to be duds, that's good stuff. But it's Hammer. I mean, you're in pretty good hands with Hammer. I mean, even their lesser films are still entertaining films right so so good stuff really glad to have that in the collection it fills some very nice gaps um has some pretty rarity uh, like rare films in there too that uh, don't generally get a lot of attention so uh yeah good stuff next up we have another selection from uh scream factory's uh deluxe re-releases of movies from this old universal set specifically we have the second film in the Dracula cycle, The Brides of Dracula, in this lovely collector's edition, which has a new transfer and loads and loads of extras. Let's just uh, take a quick peek at this one. Okay, so very nice collector's edition from Scream Factory. So I've grabbed all of these, as you guys know, as they came, came out. Um, quite a load of special features on there. And uh, as always with the Scream Factory Collector's Editions, 
it is reversible artwork. So new artwork on the slipcover, reversible artwork with one of the original movie posters there. I actually really liked Brides of Dracula. Uh, when I got the last, uh, you know, the last movies I needed to complete the Dracula cycle, I just sat down and watched all nine of them back to back. And what fun! <laughs> I really enjoyed these a lot. And uh, Brides of Dracula, I, I think, is is quite a good entry. It's uh, one of the few that doesn't have Christopher Lee in it, but um, but that's okay. The vampire they do have is actually quite good. That, that dude there. And, uh, and the vampire women in it are to die for. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Anyway, very nice collector's edition. And there you go. So, yeah, yet another double dip, but I think it's a worthwhile one because uh, Scream Factory's really been loading up these collector's editions with some great extras and, uh, and often giving the films new transfers that are better than the old Universal set. So, not that set. This, this set. Yeah, so, anyway, good stuff. So, for anyone uh, keeping track and, well, oh well, uh, curious, the ones that have yet to be re-released are Night Creatures, uh, Paranoiac and Nightmare. So there's only three movies left from this collection that have yet to get Scream Factory re-releases. I mean, I'm just kind of naturally assuming their deal was for all eight movies in that set, just all eight of the Universal ones. Um, yeah, so that's that. Anyway, last, but most definitely not least, I have mentioned this one several times in my Hammer updates of the past, in that it's a pretty significant chapter in the saga of Hammer Horror, mainly because this was the one. This was the one that got them started on their uh, their path down becoming more of a horror studio and, you know, the legendary horror studio that they became. I'm, of course, talking about 1957's The Curse of Frankenstein. Yes, we finally have it. Holy shit, this took forever. But this was the only Frankenstein movie out of their seven-movie Frankenstein cycle that had yet to get a Blu-ray release. And of all places, it came from Warner Archive. Yeah, because I remember Warner had uh, some multi-movie DVD sets of their uh, the, the Hammer films they own the license to. And uh, all of them got Blu-ray releases except this one. And it just kind of sat there in limbo for the longest time. But holy moly, did they ever make it worth the wait. This has three different versions of the film on it. Uh, three different aspect ratios. You got the uh, US 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio, the European 1.66 to 1 aspect ratio, and the original open mat 1.37 to 1 aspect ratio. So you can see it in whatever your native theatrical presentation would have been, or you can just see the full open mat uh, full frame as it was originally filmed, which is pretty cool. And all of these, I believe, are uh, new transfers. Yeah, new 4K scans from the original negatives. So how cool is that? And absolutely loaded with extras. It's, uh, it's actually a two-disc set. Yeah, it's not often you see something this deluxe from Warner Archive. A lot of the Warner Archive releases uh, tend to be just bare bones, like just the movie and not much else. But uh, they really went all out with this, and I'm so overjoyed because this is such an important chapter in the Hammer Horror Saga. This is the one that kicked off their whole gothic horror thing that, that made them famous, and made them the legendary studio that they are. This is where it started, right here. They'd done a few horrors before, like sci-fi horror and stuff, but this was their first gothic horror, and that's, that's the one that did it, basically. And then the following year, they did Horror of Dracula, or just Dracula in the UK, uh, in 1958. And that was it. They, they, were, they were set. They were the gothic horror studio. Um, so let's take a quick uh, peek at this, and you can see all the, the goodies that are on it. It's quite a, quite a loaded little double-disc set. And there we go. The long-awaited, highly sought-after Curse of Frankenstein. The start of the legend of Hammer Films as the ultimate gothic horror studio. I mean, look at how loaded this is. I mean, this is crazy. This is, this is above and beyond for Warner Archive. They really went all out with this. And even the disc art, look at that. Got the monster there. Dr. Frankenstein there. Very nice. Really looking forward to diving into this set. 
And actually, I've been waiting to watch the Frankenstein movies until I got this one because I wanted to watch all seven of them. There is a continuity to them. And now I can. And now I will. And there you go. So, um, yeah, absolutely beside myself with joy to finally have this one in the collection. We've had the other uh, six Frankenstein movies for a while. We just recently got Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell. Sadly, still not the uncut version. Um, but, hey, something's better than nothing, right? I mean, and I don't think there's that much missing. It's just a couple of a couple of shots here and there. But, uh, yeah, and apparently there's, there's a slightly more uncut version of Dracula as well that's only been released in the UK at this point. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's been such a journey trying to get all the Hammer Horror stuff. So this pretty much finishes it. Um, that with these releases, plus the ones we've had in the past, we have basically every single Hammer Horror film ever. There's one more, uh, something to do with a black cat. It's on this set here. I'll put the title down here. This is the title of it. This one. Yeah. That one's available in this set from Screen Factory. Because it was a universal title, they put it in their universal horror set. I am a little annoyed by that because it's a Hammer film that was released through Universal. All the other Hammer films have been released individually as Hammer releases, part of their Hammer collection. But for some reason, this one they decided to put in their Universal Horror Collection, Volume 6. So, I don't know. I mean, I wanted to get the Universal Horror Collections anyway. I've got all the Universal Monster ones, as you guys know. But um, it's just kind of annoying now because I, I want it to be... I want that film to be in the Hammer section. <laughs> ah, but, I mean, I guess the, the way things are organized on my shelf is Universal Horror and then Hammer Horrors. They're right next to each other. So... That'll be the one that bridges the two, I guess, will be that one volume. I don't know. It's just annoying to have that one stray film, Hammer film, not in the Hammer collection. Come on, Scream Factory. Come on. Get it together. Anyway. Uh, yeah, really glad to have these these gaps filled. This this is a, much, a very nice upgrade. Much needed gap fill and some other gap fills here. So, yeah, so at this stage, we basically, we have every single Hammer Horror film ever on Blu-ray now. There's about 50 total in the complete Hammer library. Uh, there's still, the, what remains of Hammer films is a lot of their pre-50s stuff. There's, a, there's really not much representation of their stuff from the 30s and 40s. But um, everything from the 50s to the 70s, uh, the vast majority of it is available. There's still a few, uh, uh, one or two of the Cave Girl films we don't have. Um, some of their uh, uh, mystery films we still don't have. But in terms of just the straight up horror genre, we've got it all. That's it. We're done. So, yeah. So I'll just have to grab those Universal Horror sets and then we're pretty much done. Well, and there's a few other stray non-horror Hammer films that uh, obviously I want to get. So at this stage, I'm basically just looking to get the whole damn filmography. I figure I'm this deep into the collection. I think I've got about 80 Hammer films now. It's ridiculous how much I've accumulated over the past little while. So now that the main bulk of the horror stuff is done, uh, you can look forward to some closer looks up in this, uh, this upcoming Halloween season. Um, I was thinking of doing some closer looks at the, the Dracula cycle, the Frankenstein cycle, the mummy movies, and then some of the other stuff and just kind of focus on a bunch of them. So look at the, look forward to those, uh, this coming Halloween season and, um, yeah, little preview for you. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that is it for me to you for now for this, uh, Friday Night Friday Blu-ray update. Definitely some good stuff. Hope you enjoyed. I know I'm excited. And we'll see you next time. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, uh, big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Don't forget to catch me on Twitch. I stream just about every day. And I will see you next time. Until then, sayonara. Yeah.